in 2009, Ministry of Works took a study of uh, all the key infrastructure facilities in the Greater Kampala metropolitan area and listed a number of projects, a number of interventions which are required to mitigate traffic flow, congestion and the road safety in the city. This project uh, is planned as a, a part of an international corridor uh, connecting from Mombasa, Kenya, passed through the Uganda, finally uh, connecting to the Congo and Rwanda. JICA's um, overall special priorities for Ugandan infrastructure are in two areas. Uh, one, reduction of traffic congestion in Kampala. So with the conceptualization of the flyover, it was helping to divert traffic to behind the city through Mukwano Road. And the other area is uh, the functionality of the Northern Corridor. And luckily enough, uh, Kampala lies along the Northern Corridor. So you see this project, the Kampala Flyover, already ticks the two boxes for our priorities uh, for Uganda. And that's how um, uh, we picked it up. Flyover. Implementation of the project also is not easy. Actual uh, traffic situation uh, looks like a chaos uh, because a lot of the uh, kind of uh, traffic mixed up. For instance, pedestrian, pedestrian, border, border, vehicle, bus, everything pass on the same place. Narrow roads, no walkways, available to share the whatever little space, and the pedestrians were very unsafe. The safest way for the pedestrian was to get them off the ground. So you're saving the pedestrians from that exposure from vehicles down, and also you're attaining your speeds that you want uh, for vehicles to be you know, moving at that junction. If you look at the circular pedestrian bridge, it's able to pick pedestrians from four roads which are connecting to a common point, and therefore we're able to freely circulate. In that way, the, the pedestrians feel quite safe. There was a um, need to relocate uh, the clock tower, which is um, an artifact uh, for Uganda. The function now uh, of the clock tower is, is bigger than uh, how it was. It adds beauty to the junction, adds to the tourism uh, in the city. So it wasn't just a relocation, but also the enhancement of the function. It has become a, a huge point for people to take self selfies. We are going to put their steps for, for people to sit down and relax. There will be a fountain there. So likely that's going to become a very important point for, for leisure, for those people to come and cool off so that they can start another day. After commencement of this project, we established the quality assurance team and also uh, we established a laboratory to conduct a quality control test to maintain the international high standard. This machine is for compression testing. These are paving blocks. We're going to use them on the walkway, on the project. So what we're trying to check is the strength that we're achieving from. That is one of the quality control areas that we have to check. So we have to check what strength we are getting. If we are achieving what is required on the project, then we'll go ahead and use them. If they're not achieving, then we discard them, redo the mix until we get what is appropriate to be used on the project. What will withstand that heavy load on the project road? JICA, we strongly encourage our partners to utilize local content as much as possible. So we believe that has been a plus in uh, technology transfer, and, and, and we hope uh, the subcontractors who are local Ugandans have picked a lot uh, from this project. We utilize the uh, local material 
as much as possible,、uh, especially for the cement concrete, asphalt concrete, and also embankment material. This project was initially conceptualized as, as one joint project, Lot 1,、uh, Clock Tower Junction, and Lot 2,、uh, Kitugun. From the Urmukan Road to Jinja Road will be conducted in the Lot 2. Of course, Lot 2 considered a connection to the other road, such as the、uh, Yusuf Riled Road and also、uh, Kampara Avenue. It has improved the local traffic flow in the city. And therefore, if you are going to the city from Zambia area, from、uh, Entebbe Road area, from、uh, Mango Hill area, you take shorter time, you'll be able to quickly connect to the town. When these two lots are done, you should be able to come from Ginger Road to Entebbe Road in less than 10 minutes. The site、uh, itself is unique. Especially for that lot one that is、uh, almost complete.、Um, this is a very busy junction, very congested. It's purely a brownfield construction site, so、um, it calls for a lot of things. You know, you have so many people crossing that junction. You have pedestrian border borders, taxis, cars. I don't think we had that kind of large scale construction. In such a congested area before in our city. So it's one of the things that should have been also a learning lesson, for example, for the project people. They really managed、um, given the nature of the construction site. So the aspects of safety, construction in a congested area, those also come out as challenges which should have been lessons、uh, for the construction team. Key element of the、uh, traffic safety. Is separating of the、uh, traffic flow. So that's why、uh, we installed a median strip at the center of the road. So we completely separate the directions. We installed a fall prevention net. In case of flying debris, they should be able to capture them. Also, it will be lit at night. And the equal d u n d e r p a s s is also lit.、Yeah. So, those all enhance the, the safety of the flyover and the underpass. This project was designed with the mindset of、uh, knowledge and skills transfer. The skilled and semi skilled workers constitute over 98% of the workers. So, it is directly benefited in terms of skills transfer and also in terms of、uh, money earning. <laughs> The aim generally is to have the local personnel be in charge of most of these things. So it's a good exposure for them and it will build their future. I've benefited a lot in terms of overseeing this type of complex projects because this was a new type of, especially the foundation, the piling. Quite unique. The advantage is that、uh, you screw them into the soil. One, they are less noisy. You don't have a lot of excavated material. There's only Japanese who have invested in that technology of installing and constructing steel pipes. I think、uh, my experience、uh, drastically、uh, changed my philosophy. I shall return to this country after this project too. I had the opportunity to, to supervise this, and having delivered the project successfully, I think is, is a plus on my career as a, I, I age out. When it comes to the future of JICA in the Greater Kampala metropolitan area, after the flyover, Ugandans can be guaranteed that、uh, we'll be participating in the projects that are already identified and planned. To make Greater Kampala metropolitan area a better metropolis.